I'm Debbie Rudder, and I'd like to tell you about my two favorite items in the Clever Container Catalog. They will help you tame your paperwork and the daily mail that comes in every day. The first is the File the Pile, which is this box, and the second is the Panic No More, which is a great set of file folders. Let me tell you how you can use these two things to tame the daily mail. First of all, the box is what holds all the files and will help you have a good home for everything that comes in. And secondly, the Panic No More comes in a package like this. It is hanging file folders, color-coded files, a list that looks just like this of all the different categories and what files to use for each area. And then the best part about this, I think, is these pre-printed tabs. You get a sheet of tabs that come with the categories on them. So all you have to do is put the tab on the file, put the file folders in the hanging tabs, and put them in your box, and you'll be ready to go. So let me tell you how I do this with my daily mail. I've let some things gather up so that I could show you this, but with the holidays, I have quite a pile of things, and I just grab them all, put them in a pile, and start sorting. So here's a receipt that was for tea that I bought for someone for Christmas, and I no longer need that. So I'm gonna start a uh, box for things to recycle or shred just to get them out of the pile, and that's what that's for. Here's a letter I received asking for sponsorship for a young lady I know who is going to Jamaica, and I've read that, I took care of that, so I no longer need that. That goes in the recycling pile. This is a bit of junk mail I don't need, so I'm gonna put that in there. So you just keep going. The key is to only touch each piece of paper one time. Our township sends out a newsletter. It's a recreation newsletter, and I will go ahead and put that in this file here, marked newsletter on the tab. So when I need it, I know exactly where to find it. So that goes back in this pink section. I have a thank you note that I received. I keep those for about a month, and then I throw them all away. So I keep them in a bowl in my living room. Here's a note from a friend. I wanna follow up on that. So I'm gonna put this in the section that's marked cards so that I can work on that when I do my correspondence. Here's a receipt for my, high, my son's high school yearbook. So there is a section in the green area marked receipts, and I will put that in there. So you just keep going through your pile like that and file things. I have an invitation for a rehearsal dinner and a wedding that's coming up soon, and they will go in this section marked attend. I'm gonna drop those in there. Here's another evite I printed out. That goes in this section marked attend. I have a renewal notice for a magazine and for BJ's, so I'm gonna put those in this section marked pay, and then when I pay my bills, I'll take care of that. So you just keep going through your pile and put everything in there. Then another habit that I have is I sit down with my calendar, I pull out the section that is attend and the one that's newsletter, and I look at what our month looks like for the next couple months, couple weeks, and put things on the calendar I need to put, think about plans I need to do, gifts I need to buy. When you're filing, you can think of things that you need to do and it's easy for those things to sidetrack you. I keep a piece of paper and a pen nearby so I can just write them down. So I remember I need a gift for the wedding that's coming up and I wrote that down on this piece of paper. The key is just to stay here and act on each piece of paper and then follow up later. Thanks for taking a look at this video. I truly believe using the file the pile and panic no more can change the way that you do paper management in your house. So check it out. Consider whether or not this will help you remove all those piles of paper from your countertop and have a great day.